Welcome to today's guitar tutorial, and in this one we're going to be covering basic basics. My friend Andy here just bought a brand new Fender Telecaster. Look, Andrew, I just bought this guitar and I'm ready to be a rock star, but I don't know where to start. So when you hold the guitar, you want it to be comfortable, and a standard way of doing that is having it uh, rest over the left leg here. And so when it's resting here, and maybe you don't have a strap, maybe you do, but it's here, and that way your left hand can come over and rest over the strings like this. The most convenient way to tune nowadays, arguably, is by clipping on one of these clip-on tuners and to the head of your guitar and tuning it to the proper uh, note. When you're tuning the guitar, you're going to notice that each guitar string, each open string, corresponds to a letter in the alphabet. And the order that they go in from lowest to highest is E, A, D, G, D, and E. And it's very important to memorize these names of these strings because as we go on in our guitar lessons, you'll need to know those names. So when I say Andy, play the fourth fret on the G string or play the second fret on the A string, you'll have a clear idea or picture of what we're talking about. Well, how do I memorize the names of the open strings? An easy way to memorize the name of the open strings is to make up an acronym or use one that already exists, like eat a darn good breakfast every day. So the frets on your guitar correspond like this. So that's your first fret, that's your second fret, your third, your fourth, your fifth. They're dotted as points of reference. If you notice, you have dots on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, twelfth, and fifteenth, and seventeenth, and so forth. So now let's learn our first basic chord shape with our left hand. And in our case, it's gonna be an E minor chord. So proper fretting technique. You're gonna have your thumb, it's gonna be on the center of the neck behind here. You're gonna bring these two first fingers over and they're gonna land on the second fret of your A string and the second fret of your D string. And there you have an E minor chord. And when you're fretting the chord, it's very important that you're playing with the very tips of your fingers. Good technique involves when your fingers are curved like this, very curved, you're playing with the very tips of them. Bad technique would be if you're straightening them out like that, you're playing with the flat part of it, that way it's gonna sound like that. You want it to sound like this. So you, you wanna curve those fingers, kinda like you're grabbing onto like a baseball or something. And uh, like that, yeah, just like that. Awesome, awesome, dude. You're well on your way. My name is Andrew Rubin. This is Andy Katz. Thanks for joining us. Till next time.